everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. So excited, I've not done a video. Uh, I missed all last week's videos. You may have seen that we got a puppy and I feel like things just all caught up on me at once and I just needed a week off YouTube videos to get a bit organized. That said, I don't think I did much organizing. Um, and we just ended up looking after him really, but um, it was nice to have a little bit of time away from YouTube because I think sometimes taking that time away means you can come back with a bit of a vengeance and inspires you a little bit more. So I'm back today with my beautiful flowers by my side. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, then I have just hit a million followers on there. Um, so thank you so, so much. These were sent to me um, by Pollen Paris who um, I collaborate with quite a lot. It's such a beautiful brand um, and they sent over these gorgeous flowers. Um, so thank you so much if you do follow me on there. I think it is through kind of your reactions and interactions on my reels, well I know it is, um, that we have seen such growth and it just shows that these style tips are wanted and needed and I think sometimes we as much as we love fashion, we maybe don't think about how to put things together. And I really wanted my Instagram to be that kind of focus of like quick tips, basically like my YouTube videos, but quicker of how to put things together. And I think it just shows um, that I've reached this amount of followers in five years that um, that has really worked. I mean, it's only been the past maybe year that I've been concentrating on that um, and that I've seen that growth. So I think, Obviously, you want these tips, so I'm here to bring you more of those um, and over on YouTube as well. And this here is where I kind of expand on all the tips that I'm sharing. So I think I mentioned recently that I wanted to do a bit more of a deep dive into specific topics. I think I mentioned that within my trousers video, if I'm correct. So this again is that, and it is a fundamental style rule that I live by. I actually thought of this during my workout this morning. Um, it just came to me. Sometimes I find that uh, ideas come to me in the weirdest of places, but um, it just came to me that I think this is actually a key part to how I get dressed, the style rule that I'm going to be sharing today. And I'm going to give you examples of everything as well so you can kind of take that into your own wardrobe when looking for pieces. And anyway, let's cut to the chase. So this is all gonna be part of my Lessons with Lydia series, which basically, again, is a bit more of a deep dive look into style tips. So today my fundamental style rule that I really find I live by is looking for elevated basics and combining one of those into your everyday wardrobe. I think this is particularly relevant if you are like me and you like a minimal uh, capsule wardrobe. It's the probably more sustainable way to live um, but also just makes it easier to get dressed. But something within that that you can incorporate, I get asked all the time, how do I stop my outfits looking boring with it being basics? And I say all the time, I look for those small details. And so that is why um, I've chosen my topic today to be about elevated basics. <laughs> Let's talk about what elevated basics means and is. Let's, for example, take um, a cardigan, which I'll, I'll show you in the video as well. Take a, a cardigan, and it could just be the most simple of cardigans, but the thing that makes it elevated is something, like a little twist on it. That might be something with the shoulders, it might be the buttons on it, it might be the way it fastens, um, it might be the fabric as well. So it's all about looking for those very, very basic pieces with a twist, those basics that are elevated. So I'm going to show you varying examples of things um, so that you can kind of get more of a feel of what to look out for in specific items. So I'm going to start with a coat and I'm actually going to go for this trench coat. It's new in my wardrobe from Sana New York. You may already know that I work with them on a regular basis, I will collaborate with them on a regular basis. They have the best trench coats. If you're looking for a good trench coat, go no further than Sana New York because 
They are the absolute ultimate. So this piece um, kind of particularly rings true to this elevated basics kind of thing. And that is because of the details on it. So when you initially see this, you just think trench coat maybe. But then when we look at it a bit further, you can see all the details in it that make it feel some, oh, that's gone really dark now. Sorry, I just had to stop then because the sun is, um, it's such a sunny day, so like, let's not film with the uh, box lights. And then the sun all of a sudden just went in. Um, so we've decided we've got no ring lights on. Um, but the sun just went in and the whole screen went almost black. So um, hopefully it'll stick with us. But anyway, as I was saying, when we look closer into the trench coat, we can see and pick up those little details that make this something special. So for example, it's got the pleating detail around the shoulder. It's got these quite big kind of, what would you say, almost bell sleeves, not quite, just a slightly bigger sleeve. It's also got this really sharp pointed collar and um, the contrast of the buttons really stands out. So it's those really small details on this trench coat that really set it apart. And again, with these elevated basics, they're not necessarily something that really stands out and that's really showy, but at the same time, you quite, you kind of notice it, something a little bit different and elevated. Um, this blazer also, by the way, is from Sana New York. Such a good piece. I love my leather blazers, but I feel like this one perfect kind of springtime feeling. So anyway, let's talk about other pieces. I'm going to talk about this bag as my next example. My Chloe bag is such a good one. Um, so funny actually, because uh, we went to Dublin over the weekend and I was sitting opposite a girl. Don't know whether she's watching this video at the moment, but she said she follows me on YouTube. And she said the first thing she recognized um, walking down the aisle of the plane was this bag. So I guess that just goes to show um, that again, this is an elevated basic, that it's noticeable, but kind of fits in with every outfit. So some elements to look out for on bags are things like croc, which make it feel a little bit different, something shiny maybe, some interesting hardware, or just like a kind of nice, unusual shape. I love that this is kind of box structure bag. It's got the top handle, but it's also got the crossbody. So it's those elements and layers that make this something special. And also the color, I think, of this bag. It goes with absolutely everything, but it's also quite unusual. It's called Army Green. I don't know if it's still available or not, but yeah, such a good color. So what the aim of this video... <laughs> Otty. Otty is uh, <laughs> rummaging around right underneath the camera. You want to say hello to everyone? Can you say hello? Say hello to everyone. Considering you keep jumping in the camera trying to disturb us, I think you want to be on screen, don't you? So anyway, sorry for the uh, brief interlude there. As I was saying, this bag goes with everything but is still noticeable. So the same can be said for jewellery. So we're going to concentrate on my earrings now. These are from my collection with North School Woman. They're the Habibti ones. I talk about these all the time and these are just something more than a classic hoop. I think we all want a classic hoop. They're so wearable, um, but maybe look for something a little bit different that maybe not everybody has. And these certainly tick that box. They've got the little hook round, um, but they still do the same job as a hoop. And I think that's an important reminder and takeaway from this video is that all these elevated basics need to do the same job as a very simple basic would. You still need to be able to wear them in that simple way, um, but uh, just look for things with a twist. Okay, so let's go to tops now. I've got two kind of tops jumpers to show you. The first one is this asymmetric cardigan from Under the Stories, which I know so many of you have bought already. It's such a good piece, honestly. I'm obsessed with this piece. Goes with everything and is a really nice transitional piece worn with some light denim. I think it just looks so good. You can wear it as a cardigan, you can wear it as a top. So that's another thing to consider, um, kind of functionality, versatility, um, and this certainly ticks that box. 
But on this, it kind of speaks for itself in terms of what's elevated about it, and that is asymmetric detail for a start is so good I love that uh, and other stories are great at that I've got another asymmetric cardigan from them but that subtle detail makes all the difference there's so many button-down collared jumpers but the fact that it's asymmetric makes a huge difference the same with these kind of pearlescent buttons and the fact that it's got a collar makes it feel elevated so that's Definitely a few things to look out for on your knitwear. And the same can be said for tops, things to look out for. Um, I've got this boxy shoulder top on here from Wardrobe NYC. It's got these big shoulder pads. You can look out for things like shoulder pads, puff sleeves, collar detail. Maybe they've got a big collar. Maybe it's the way the shoulder cuts off. It's maybe a bit of a drop shoulder or the way the fabric goes. Maybe if it's a striped shirt, the kind of shirt, the stripes change depending on the fabric of the shirt and where it's placed on the shirt. Those tiny details really make such a huge difference to your outfits. And I do feel like for me, those pieces are the kind key secret to how I dress and um, how to make things look a little bit different. Other accessories you could do this with are belts. I think if you are looking for something more affordable that can transform all your very basic basics, like a white t-shirt for example, accessories and elevated accessories are a really easy way to do this. For example, I've got this belt here from Sansia and what I love about this is the croc and the slightly unusual shaped buckle, the fact that it's long. Look for details in the buckles, the fastenings, the way it wraps round, maybe it's a double wrap, maybe it's a knotted belt. Um, and these things don't have to be expensive at all. Um, you can find all of these things on the high street if you wanted to, but just make sure to look out for these little details. And like I say, something like a belt or an accessory, it's a really affordable way to do this going forward. And as for trousers, I think trousers are probably a bit more difficult to do this with, but I definitely think it's an easy one to achieve. You could look for kind of a crease in the middle. Um, what are they called? Um, oh, the word's completely gone from my head, but it's like a, like a seam detail down the front maybe. Um, and like these trousers that I'm showing here, they've got a split hem detail, something very subtle to look out for. Um, and again, they've got the seam detail. So as I say, it's just those small and subtle details um, that really make a difference, even on something like trousers. So my final example of how to do this is with shoes. Again, they're a great way to elevate your very, very basic pieces. Um, and for me, these elevated pieces are the ones that you can mix with your basics. And that's how I create my wardrobe. You can look for small details in shoes as well. So for example, I've got this pair on here from Flattered. Um, I actually just did a recent collab with them on Instagram um, and featured these here. So if you're looking for ways to wear these, there's a reel on that on my Instagram. Um, but these ones are such a lovely piece. I love that they're a classic ballet flat, but this bow detail on top really just completely elevates them, makes them feel a little bit different, a little bit more fresh, more considered. Um, and I also love the shade of these. I know they're a shade that will, will go with everything, but with them being this kind of warm tan shade, I just feel like they elevate pieces like denim, leather even, leather trousers would look great with these. So it's just those small details. On shoes you could look for quilting, different shapes, different buckles maybe. I'm just trying to think of pairs of shoes that I've got. Just those small details make a huge difference. So I hope that's been useful for you. Let me know if you enjoy these kind of sit down videos. I'm in my kitchen today, a slightly different background, but I quite like doing these. I feel like when I'm sitting down talking to the camera, I can go into depth a little bit more. So let me know if you like this kind of video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram, at Lady Jane Tomlinson. And I'll see you in my next one. Let me know if you've got any ideas for upcoming videos. I'm always reading your comments and on the lookout for new videos video ideas. Pretty much all my ideas actually come off your comments. So uh, thanks again and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, someone likes a leather jacket. Oh no. Oh.